Hey guys, welcome back to another short but healthy video. And today I'm cooking quinoa with pumpkin and coconut milk. Okay, so I know many persons don't like this, but I'm going to show you how I do it to make it very enjoyable. So here... I put my water to boil and I'm adding a peg of garlic you know garlic give you a great flavor okay guys and while that is boiling sorry guys that is what you call not being prepared okay so while that is boiling I'm going to make some coconut milk to put in my pot because I need a coconut milk to get boiling time. So this is like you're cooking pumpkin rice. But we're not using rice of course. We are using this. Alright so I pour my coconut milk in my boiling water. And leave to boil. So guys while... While my coconut is boiling, we have to ensure that the stove is low because it will boil over, boil out the niceness. I'm going to go ahead and add my pumpkins. Okay. reason why I put my coconut pop, um, milk first is because I need boiling time on it. Because I need to taste that coconut in my food. Okay. So I'm going to allow my pumpkin to cook. Before I come back and season the pot. So the only thing that is inside of this now guys. Is. I don't know if you guys can see in the pot. Good. Let me see here. What is inside this now guys. Is coconut milk. With the pumpkin. And I'm gonna slowly cook. I'm gonna let this slowly boil so it can cook before I season it. Because the last thing I'm going to add is my quinoa because you know you can't overcook that. But I have to ensure that this is properly seasoned. So let me allow this to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes because you know pumpkin don't take a lot of time to cook. And then we get back to season our pot. Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you can see here, the pumpkin cook. So what I'm going to do is add my natural season, which is one stuffed scallion finely chopped, as long as well as one piece sweet pepper. So my season, natural season is scallion and sweet pepper. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a piece of butter. As you can see, this is optional. You can add olive oil, salt, or optional. I did not add any salt as the butter will already have salt in it. And we are trying to go the healthy way as well. But if I don't have at least a piece of butter, my daughter won't eat it. And say it is fresh. So you know how we carry the here at the end of the day. We still have cooked the piece then regardless. Guys, so as you can see there, it is boiling. And I'm going to allow it to boil some more to bring down that heavy coconut cream. So guys, stay with me. The next thing after this is I'm going to add my quinoa. Okay guys, so I taste my pot. It already tastes how I want it with my natural seasoning, my butter, and my coconut milk of course. And I don't want the, the pumpkins to overcook. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and pour in my cup of quinoa. 
and then of course I'm gonna mix it around and allow this to cook for five to seven minutes on high heat of course because as you can see there is still a lot of liquid in it but trust me it will come down very quickly so stay with me okay guys so time to check on my quinoa forgive me if i pronounce the name wrong so i'll allow it to slowly cook down basically everybody cook their own quinoa different so i'm going to spin and you can basically allow the water to dry out by itself you see that that's it guys so i'm just gonna cover this allow it to dry by this itself dry down by itself but i'm going to turn off the stove This is how it look on my fork see that color it is very pretty so I'm gonna allow it to cool down and then I'm going to plate it I'm actually doing some fish over here with cabbage in it don't know if you guys ever try that and this is what I'm going to eat my kilo and pumpkin with so allow me to plate it guys so you can see it okay guys so what I'm going to do now is serve my quinoa uh, so guys let me give you an up and close and personal look on my recipe okay so that is some jackfish with cabbage and my coconut pumpkin with quinoa Please remember to leave a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to all my loyal supporters. Thank you guys for continuing to share my videos. I love you all. Peace out.